a lady from Arkansas was hushed from opening up to the world about her issue with Bill Clinton after the scorched stays of her body was recovered from a staggering house fire. Penthouse pet Judy Gibbs kicked the bucket in a house fire in 1986 in the midst of gossipy tidbits that she had pictures that demonstrated she and after that governor of Arkansas Bill Clinton had been consistent sex accomplices. DailyMail.co.uk reports, and even now, 30 years after she passed on nearby her substantially more established other sweetheart, questions stay about how and why Gibbs and her long-lasting lover Bill Puterbaum met their grisly passings. Be that as it may, now DailyMail.com has sorted out the life and passing of Judy Gibbs, telling out of the blue how the reddish-haired lady from a stick prick of an Arkansas town figured out how to bed the man who went ahead to be a standout amongst the most intense men on the planet. Furthermore, the inquiry stays unanswered. Was Judy Gibbs murdered on the grounds that Bill Clinton and his counsels dreaded the undertaking was going to wind up noticeably open? I have dependably been persuaded that Bill Clinton was in charge of the fire, however I have no verification," Gibbs more seasoned sister Martha, who still lives in Sims, Arkansas, told DailyMail.com. What's more, what might happen in the event that I had evidence, you can't touch those individuals. At the season of her passing, Gibbs was 32 and living with 57-year-old designer Puterba in an expansive separated home a quarter-mile drive on Versa Modest Air Terminal outside Fort Ice, Arkansas. Their bodies were both found in the tremendous main room. They passed on of smoke inward breath. Puterba's child, Randy, who tailed him into the land business, recounts a comparable story to Martha Gibbs. Despite the fact that the two have not talked since the days following the twofold passing, there are such a significant number of bits of the perplex. Puterball said, I trust it is a plausibility that Bill Clinton was associated with their passings. I know I wish I had contracted my own private agent, yet I didn't, so I figure I will never know. Judy Gibbs and Bill Puterball passed on January 3, 1986. As per a report in the nearby Fordyce News Advocate, Gibbs called the fire office at 2.26 a.m. crying in her Marilyn Monroe sword voice, Bill Puterbaugh's home is ablaze, rush, all of you, hustle. Puterbaugh's body was found by a window. Gibbs was all the while grasping the telephone ideal by the extra-large bed. Neighborhood fire boss Roy Wayne Mosley has no clarification in the matter of why the sweethearts did not figure out how to escape the house. The main reason I can figure why they didn't is they were invaded with smoke so brisk thus quick, he said. It was a genuine catastrophe. To the extent private flames go, that was the most exceedingly awful we've had, included Mosley, now 80 and still head of the Fordyce Volunteer Fire Department a post he has held since 1960. Many individuals around the Clintons have passed on in irregular conditions throughout the years, driving connivance scholars to guarantee they could be associated. As DailyMail.com revealed not long ago, five passings in a six-week traverse between June 22 and August 2 this year had associations with the previous first family. I'm not saying the Clintons execute individuals. I'm stating many individuals around the Clintons turn up dead, Larry Nichols, who worked with the previous first family before betraying them, told DailyMail.com. What's more, the names of Judy Gibbs and her darling Bill Puterball could be added to that rundown. Gibbs was the sixth of seven youngsters destined to a hard scrabble family in Sims, a two-hour drive west of Little Rock. In her teenagers, she was tricked into prostitution by her brother by marriage Dale Bliss, who is currently 85 and 32 years into an existence jail sentence for kid assault.